I tried to do a bunch of cute shit with my hair, wasn't working out, we'll move on from that. What is up YouTube? So today, this video is just for my ladies out there, as I promised. So guys, leave, I guess. If you want to stay, if you want to be informed, that's cool too, but just don't be a little bitch in the comments. We are going to be talking about birth control, specifically the birth control that I am on because you guys have been asking me a whole bunch of questions and I have the answers for you here today. So let me just show you the birth control that I have. So my birth control specifically is called low loestrin fee, fee something, I don't know, whatever. I'll show it to you. There you go, low, low estrin, whatever, I don't really, I don't know, however you pronounce that, not important. And I've been on this birth control for three weeks now, a little bit over three weeks, so you can see that I'm doing quite well with my regimen, and I'm basically just going to answer you guys' questions on changes, how I feel about it factual information so I have the questions written down because I took notes so the first and most common question is did I gain weight and just like weight all over my body I'll talk about specific areas in a minute did I gain weight no I personally didn't gain weight that's actually a myth you're not really supposed to gain weight it's stated as a side effect however not very many people actually gain weight when they're on the pill. So just for future reference. I have however noticed, and this was a frequently asked question too, I have however noticed a huge, huge, significant increase in my cup size. I've gone up a cup size and I noticed that within a little over a week. Does it stop your period? Um, different kinds do different things. The one that I am on is a just more of a regulator of your period because I have very irregular periods and really the only reason that I'm on birth control or the main reason that I'm on birth control is because of the iron that it supplies and it regulates your period obviously so there's a normal C in your blood flow and I'm actually anemic so my doctor recommended that I go on birth control so I get that iron deficiency taken care of as well as my blood is regulated so it helps with my anemia but there are different kinds I had options to go on one that was I think it gives you your period like three times a year there are different options that stop your period completely altogether. You just have to talk to your doctor and see what's best for you. This is a good question. This was a really unusual question, but I'm glad somebody brought it up. Do guys act differently when they find out you're on birth control? Um, very few guys know that I'm on birth control just because it's not something that I just like bring out of the blue, but I am sexually active, I'll be honest about that. So if I am hooking up with a guy and they bring it up, then they do kind of act differently because most guys assume like, oh shit, like she's on birth control, I don't have to use a condom. Don't be an idiot, please still use a condom. Please use your protection because it protects against any type of STDs as well, so not just pregnancy. So yes, a lot of guys are like, wow, free pass, but no, no don't use that as a free pass. Should you be ashamed of it? A lot of girls, especially younger girls, are ashamed to talk to their parents about it or are ashamed of people finding out because they think it's a bad thing to be on birth control because birth control is obviously correlated with being sexually active, but that's not always the case. No, you shouldn't be ashamed at all. It's something that a lot of girls have and I honestly think it's something that a lot of younger girls need to be on regardless of whether they're sexually active or not just because of the benefits that it gives you. So that's just my personal opinion, but no, you should never be ashamed 
of anything like that. Is there a difference in your period? Um, I didn't notice too much of a difference. I did notice my period was a little bit longer, but that could just be the fact that my body was getting used to it. So I don't know if you guys want an update on that, I'll let you know. But other than that, I didn't really notice too much of a difference. The next question is how did you convince your parents? And I know different parents view this differently. More conservative parents might be more against it. My mom actually recommended it to me. Like it was not even a thought in my mind and my mom recommended it to me. So it really just depends on how lenient your parents are, which I, again, I think is ridiculous because birth control should not be something that you're ashamed to talk to your parents about or it shouldn't be an option that you are afraid to bring up, you know, so. It just depends on how your parents react to it, I guess. I would probably just tell them about the benefits and sit down and have a conversation, especially with your mom, if, you know, you're comfortable talking to your mom or whatever female guardian you have about getting on the pill or any type of birth control. Just research the benefits, research the side effects, see what's right for you, talk to your doctor, and let them know why you feel you need to be on birth control in the first place. And the last question, what are the side effects? So, I actually have my paper right here because I don't even know why I have my paper here. There's a lot of side effects, most of which I have not experienced. They are kind of just disclaimers. So, <clears throat> Nausea, vomiting, headache, abdominal cramps slash bloating, breast tenderness, swelling of the ankles and feet, or weight change. Out of these, I have experienced breast tenderness and just overall more breast growth. I even discussed this with my doctor because I wanted to know the side effects as well and she said those are just there for a disclaimer and there's hardly really any side effects, but once again, there are all types of different birth control contraceptives. There are, you know, the pill, there is a patch, there's injections, there's a little thing that you insert. So you just have to do your research, talk to your doctor, make sure your doctor is included in this. I cannot stress that enough and find what's right for you. And of course, discuss any questions further questions that you have with your doctor because I'm not certified. I'm just telling you my experience and answering your questions based off of my personal experience. So I guess take what I'm saying with a grain of salt and discuss it further with a professional. Okay guys, that is it for this video. If you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comments down below and I will try to get back to you guys on your comments, concerns, questions of that nature. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below for further video suggestions, follow me on all my social medias that will be linked down below as always, subscribe for new videos, I put out new videos every single week. I will see you guys next video and stay Gucci!